Welcome back, medical students. Welcome back to another lesson from your amazing world-renowned surgeon. First of all, we have to make some notes before this um, extremely important uh, heart surgery. Oh, my watch. My watch! It is 10.24. Get away. Uh, we have to make some notes first for this uh, surgery. That is course extremely important I won't be able to write like this will I no uh, let us oh maybe why is my hand so strange today anyway let's see oh yes yes excellent uh, we, we have to make some uh, extremely important notes before the surgery so let's see there you go if that's the brain, or sort of, yeah, sort of, if that's the brain, then we have to make an incision here, and then here, and then take this part, this brain, out. Perfect. That's what we need to do, and then... We will have a nice completed surgery. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So, uh, notes are always very important. Very, very important. Let's do the brain transplant. Tra brain transplant? It's not a surgery. It's a transplant. Oh, my. Before... <laughs> oh, dear. Hello, sir. Oh, yes, of course. He's, uh... I really don't need your radio at the moment. Come here. Right. Right, there we go. His vital signs are all right. His head is firmly attached. Oh, I can see that he's already had his skin removed. That's... yeah. Well, this is a rather easy surgery if you're a world-renowned doctor. There's a laser. Uh, let us see. That's not in a good place. We have to make a little space first. Oh, Ooh, that's... Where did that go? That's not good. Go away. I don't need your empty orange juice. Right. The first of the first thing we need to do is of course get get off. Look at the patient. First look at the patient. Does he look sad? No. He's extremely happy. Why? Because he's getting operated on by a world renowned surgeon. Now, take the most precise instrument here. Which is not the hammer, no, dear medical students, it is this little thing. Just slide over the scroll very, very gently. Just tap it, tap it like you would an egg. You know, you have to, you have to crack it. Just crack it. There we go. And then, just, you know, just lightly tap at the skull. There we go. Lightly, lightly, I said. Just like opening, like opening egg a hard-boiled egg there we go there we go perfect 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 uh, most most excellent of course we have to get this here there we go perfect you have to be very very gentle and precise don't worry about that uh, blood there that's that's completely normal uh, let me oh. Let me get the green syringe. Oh, my watch. I should I should probably stop taking my watch. Just uh do it somewhere. Oh actually in the brain. It'll be fine. Ooh. There we go. That's I think that's alright. Ooh. This is not going according to plan. Uh, but uh, surgeries usually do not go according to plan, so do not worry about that. Uh, all those bone pieces down there on his uh, legs uh, that will uh, that will heal, as you know, brain bones or head bones, if you like, um, grow back within half a day or so. So do not worry about that. Let's. Oh, sorry about that. Let's remove. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, so yes, of course, um, surgery failed. Uh, this this was uh, simply a demonstration of how not to do a brain surgery. Nurse, get me another victim. I mean, um, 
patient, of course. Uh, so yes, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, take this, throw it away because we don't need it. Now, we are going to use a very precise tool. Here it is. Are you afraid? Ooh. Right. Very precise. Uh. Right, like that. Very precise. Very precisely. Ow. There we go. I have to lean it more that way. Mm. Come on then. Maybe like this. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. He's bleeding a little bit, but that's alright. Oh, oh. He's bleeding a lot. I have to get the uh, green syringe. And just uh, lightly, lightly tap it. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. You have to be very gentle with this. Very, very gentle. Uh, do not worry about the syringe. It will stay sterile. Probably. Now, we have to do the rest. Take this. And just uh, lightly remove the skull. There we go. There we go. Have to be very precise. There we go. Give me a little bit more. Uh, ow, ow, ow. That was a faulty tool. That was absolutely not my fault. That was a completely faulty tool. Um, and that's another lesson for you medical students. Faulty tools are bad. Very bad. If you get them, fire the nurse. Okay. Let's try this again. A very, very... Gently and precisely. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on then. Gotta turn it that way. There we go. Perfect, perfect. No bleeding yet, of course. There we go. Just making a precise incision to uh, to free the brain. Oh, there we go. He will. He won't need that. All right. Let's get it here. What's that beeping, nurse? What's that beeping sound? Are you playing pong again or Pac-Man? Perfect. 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 There we go. Just need the uh, green syringe now to stop the bleeding. Did he stop breathing, nurse? What's the problem? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alright. What is that beeping? What are you beeping for, machine? Stop it. Right, anyway. Uh, remove the... There we go. And, oh, take brain. He... Ah, my hand is stuck. Oh, there we go. Still attached by the spinal cord. Most excellent. We will have to do... Some very precise surgery there. Okay. Oh, come on, move. Stay there. Stay. Alright, now we need a very precise scalpel for this. Uh, this one, big one. Oh, my watch. Alright, alright, alright. Just gotta be really careful here. Oh. This is a very gentle procedure. Was that it? I have no idea. There we go, there we go, there we go. He does not need his brain, but let's stab him with, uh, with the syringe one more time. There we go. No bleeding anymore. As you can see, he is still alive. Students. Um, the, the nurse will pick up that. As you can see, there is nothing otherwise in a person's head. He's still alive, and this simply proves my theory that uh, the brain is not required. Let us, let us uh, get the new brain. It's in in soda. That's how it uh, preserves itself. Just take it in. There we go. There we go. Surgery complete. 
and we get an A, of course. And this is how you perform brain surgery. Absolutely. So there we go, my uh, my dear viewers, uh, my dear medical students. Oh, there's there's disc three now. I wonder. Let's see. Controls. Let's take the. I wish these. Damn, these cats were the other way around. Ah, so difficult to pick up when you're drunk, just after doing brain surgery. Oh, stuck on my finger. Get away. No, nope, that's still the uh, the wrong way around. Come on, I need to... Yes, 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 yes! Perfect. See, a brain surgeon does not have any problems. Leave the keyboard. There we go. Just need to... Need to put this in somehow now. Mm. I need to turn it around a little bit. Come on then, come on. There we go, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa, where's the keyboard going? Where's the no keyboard? Right. Shut up. There we go. Perfect. Britannia, 1988. Oh, this actually tells you what to do. Who is it? What? Goddamn prank calls. Ah, oh, this actually tells you where to come. That's interesting. We already know this, of course. This is for you students, as you can see. Oh, yes, yes. That is the most precise tool to do that. Um, oh, yeah, we don't need that. So there we go. Next time. Uh, ambulance. Ooh. Ooh. A heart transplant in an ambulance. Very, very good. We shall be doing this next time. Patient's name is also Bob. So, thank you for uh, watching, medical students. I hope you are learning a lot from this. Of course, I mean, you would, because I am, after all, a world-renowned surgeon of immense experience. And, uh, I need a drink. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.